Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss on UGC care list and in this particular video we will focus on UGC care group 1 list and how a journal can be indexed in or let's say the journal uh, is qualified for UGC care group 1 list that we will try to understand and how you can able to you know search or track journal that are part of UGC care group 1 list. So for this, what you have to do first is you have to create an account in this UGC care, uh, uh, you know, domain. So for that, you have to click on the login. So you can see if you have already account, you have to directly use the user ID and password and you can go for, you know, login or else what you have to do, you have to go for register here. So here you can select your salutation, title, name, other detail, you know, gender, mobile number, then uh, address for correspondence, then uh, your email ID, password, then you have to confirm it and you have to just put a submission. It, it is as simple as creating a, you know, your any social media platform account. So once you do that, you can go to login page. You let's say this is your user ID and password then you have to click on that i am not a robot and then you have to put login so now you have already login into the ugc care list or in into the ugc care and now we will try to understand how you can able to track ugc care group one list before that let's uh, try to understand the you know new submission protocol or how ugc care they evaluate uh, the journal that that uh, to be a part of UGC care group one list or or that uh, you know follow some protocol that uh, meet the quality to be a part of UGC care group one list so this is what you know when a journal or let's say a publisher uh, they submit their work it can be via publisher by individual and then there are several you know process or let's say committee they evaluate it based on the protocol uh, one uh, two and three and uh, what are these protocol if you uh, come over here you can able to know the UGC care protocol part one that are the basic information they they need to you know uh, produce the about the journal title ISSN number the website detail then the you know um, uh, committee member detail all sort of thing and uh, you have here is the submission form that you can download and you can fill it up if uh, you know you you are um holding or uh, a journal or you want your journal to be part of it and this is uh, the uh, another side of this coin is to understand how they are you know evaluating the journal and uh, for a researcher or for a you know reader to understand is like uh, what sort of you know criteria the journal has to follow to be a part of ugc care group one list and you want to explore more about the analysis protocol how they, they do evaluate here you can have more detail on it about the other criteria that is the protocol part one part two and part three and this is the part one criteria then about part two and three uh, you can have over here that is the internal analysis and assessment purpose they they will seek certain information from the publisher from the you know individual and about that particular journal which uh, being applied to be a part of UGC care group one list. So this is how the evaluation will take place. L so let's say that journal is now indexed in uh, UGC care group one list. So how you can able to track or how you can able to track journal which are from dis different discipline, let's say science, uh, let's say multidisciplinary area, arts and humanities, engineering, how you can able to track. So that what uh, you have to go to your UGC care search like search UGC care list. So do remember that we have already logged in. As you can see, as I have logged in, I can able to go for the search option. Many of the time, you know, I have uh, I have received queries that they are not able to search uh, the UGC care list. This is why because you have not logged in and you are trying to do a perform a search. So you have to log in after creating an account. So once you do log in, so you have to put like search now this page will appear so what we'll focus today is uh, on ugc care group one we are not going to this part this part we'll focus in the next video next uh, video and here what we'll do is we have to put a search because we want to uh, explore or we want to know the general uh, that are indexed in ugc care group one so as you can see there are different discipline wise also it is being given 
like uh, science then social sciences and arts and humanities multidisciplinary then indian languages so there are these many journals that are part of ugc care group one list so one by one also you can explore you can do a search over here either you can uh, select the title issn number publisher subject language and here you can put the detail and you can do a search uh, likewise uh, let's say i have uh, noted a issn number and with that i want to perform because i know this about this journal i want to cross check whether this journal is part of ugc care or not so once i put a search you see it is showing in the ugc care list but again you have to be cautious about the coverage you have to cross check whether it is you know the coverage is still present or not it is not present that means it is till a range of 2019 to 2020 so and but it is showing that it is indexing scopus so that you have to again cross check so this is one way of cross checking another way is like uh, you can come back to the group one list and uh, you can explore the discipline wise uh, let's say i want to i want to know what are the 41 journals that are indexing you know multidisciplinary uh, aspect so here these are the different journal but again you have to see the coverage the this is the journal title the publisher then the assn number eissn number the few of the cases eissn number may not be there and the ugc coverage also you can now you can cross check till present that means it is there you can see it is discontinued this one so other is this one is uh, till december but it is now indexed in scopus so probably it is moved to UGC care group 2 list because uh, uh, those are the globally you know um, um, uh, indexing body so th there is no nothing to worry on it but you have to cross check whether it is a part of scopus or not again likewise you can explore you can see the other detail also so once you verify or you you thought of uh, you know any particular journal now you are, you know that that coverage is there or not you know if it is there then you can plan your work and you can go for submission so this is how you can able to perform a search and you can explore different journals that are part of ugc care so here you can also do a search with the publisher if you know the publisher or you you are from different discipline let's say arts and humanities because many of the time uh, we do receive queries related to you know student from arts and humanities that there are limited journal and they are not able to you know uh, track where to publish and um, these are the journal you can see these are the different journal if those who are not discontinued you know plan uh, to submit your work in those journal but i will do recommend to you know uh, follow ugc care group 2 list where you have a better you know uh, chance of uh, let's say a kind of is uh, uh, safeguard uh, where those journal uh, may not be you know um, discontinued from group one or even from group two because those are indexed in globally uh, indexing bodies so uh, and uh, these are reported indexing body like uh, web of science and uh, scopus so they they will be maintaining their you know quality so as to be a part of that indexing body and uh, you can focus on those journal if not if you are uh, still uh, finding some trouble then you can because you have another option like group one you have so you can focus on these journal also and you can plan your work so thank you for watching this particular video please do like and uh, if you have not yet subscribed please do subscribe to my channel thank you again